Hello everyone, this is Kikoto Mani from Team Get Rec Robotics, as well as a member of Team WPI. This is my event report showing how my 150 gram fairy weight named Flaky Boy did at the T-Town Beatdown event on August 3rd. The format for this event will be double elimination, meaning if you lose twice, you're out. Also, something interesting about T-Town was the fact that they actually had a much smaller arena specifically made for the 150 gram bots. Not only did Serena have two speed bumps as obstacles, but it also had two open areas in the walls where an opponent could be pushed out for an automatic win. Flaky Boy's first fight would be against a wedge bot named Triceratops. The strategy was simply to get underneath Triceratops, grab them, and then drop the bot out of the arena through one of the pushout zones. With all that out of the way, let's get into the first fight. Alright, let's count down. Three, two, one, fight, robots, fight! Go. The serial monster. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> I don't know how you attack that. Oh my god! Nice. Oh no, it got out, but it's a chicken. It's a great design. Great, great I love control points. points. Oh, is that what you get control points? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh huh. Serial monster get turned over. Uh oh. Let's see how this works out. Three, two, one, fight, robots, fight. Okay. Um, I forgot the hole in the opening. Right? Yeah, you can force the out of the ring and get more socks in the back. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see one hit that in the end one year? Oh! oh what the? the? Stopping the clock. Stopping the clock. You get the clock back in. Get back in. Okay. In their corners. Three, two, one, five, five robots, five. Here we go. I'm with the mouth on that. Here we go. A lot of strategy going on here. I'm not sure what it is. It's going on. Oh, all right, now we're going to. Can't see it out. Oh, but what's happening? Oh, oh no. shit. Sure. What's happening? It's tricky. Oh. We're right on the edge of. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. And just like that, Flaky Boy loses its first fight of the event. I was able to get a few good grabs, but despite that, Chryceratops still fought very hard. At one point, we both fell out of the arena at the same time, and the fight had to be restarted. After that, I got another good grab on Chryceratops near the pushout zone, and I was trying my best to drop him out of the arena. Unfortunately, I made a major driving error and caused one of Flaky Boy's wheels to hang over the side of the pushout zone. Despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to escape, and Flaky Boy fell out of the arena and out of the fight. Flaky Boy's next fight would be against Toaster Bath, a unique bot with a lifter that can rotate 360 degrees. Can Flaky Boy redeem itself and win the fight? Let's find out now. Two, one, fight, robots, fight. Here we go, here we go. Lisa Winters. Oh, watch out. Lisa Winters. And with that second loss, Flaky Boy is out of the competition. I did everything I could to grab Toaster Bath, but the driver was smart and they kept using their lifter to make it harder for me to control them. Eventually, I ended up stuck on one of the speed bumps, and in my attempt to back up, I accidentally drove over the edge of the pushout zone and lost the fight. Even though Flaky Boy was now out of the competition, I thought it would be fun to have one more exhibition fight. One of the members of Team Legion Robotics offered to fight Flaky Boy with their wedge bot. Since this fight wasn't a part of the main competition, me and my opponent agreed to fight in the main box without the mini arena. Now let's get into the fight.
He's gone. Where'd he go? He's just playing hide and seek. That's hilarious. I told you, it just eats it. Well, that was a fun match. It was nice having more space to fight in and not having to worry about any obstacles or push out zones. The opponent drove very well, and I'm happy Flake Boy was able to get several good grabs in, as that's what it was designed to do. Overall, it was a great fight to end the event on. And that marks the end of Flaky Boy's time at T-Town Beatdown. Even though the bot didn't perform as well as I would have liked, mostly due to my own driving errors, I still had a really fun time with it. I'm looking forward to the next time I can fight with Flaky Boy. In the meantime, my next event report will be about my other cereal box grabber, Serial Killer. So be on the lookout for that video coming soon. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.